Hi, I'm John with Beacon Horse Coffee here to talk to you today about your Melita XT4. Some basic features of the XT4 include a hot water wand, one step functionality, and fixed water and drain. Some optional features of the XT4 will be a milk system, a second bean option, a powdered chocolate system, or a steam wand. Now I'm going to go over some operations of the XT4. I'm going to show you how to turn the machine on and off, how to fill the hoppers, how to empty the grinds bin, how to select a drink, and what options you have in the menu. As you can see, the machine looks like it's off. It's in standby mode. The power button is still on. And we want to make sure during normal daily operations, we leave this power button on and we switch on by holding this button. Now we'll get some options and press turn on. It's going to go through a startup process and when it's ready your drink selections will be available. We're only going to use this button to switch it off if there's an emergency or if the machine's going to be off for an extended period of time. For daily use we'll switch on by pressing and holding this and then pressing turn on and it'll go through its startup process. When you're ready to switch off the machine, it's just the opposite. You press and hold this button until your menu comes up. Press turn off and the machine's going to do its switch off process. Now this machine here is a two bean machine and it also includes powdered chocolate and milk. So I'll go through how to fill those hoppers. It's very simple. That's your hopper number one for regular. Decaf hopper is in the back, you pull the top and you fill it that way. For your powder and chocolate, you open the door, cock that back, and you can fill it this way. Or you can pull this entire unit out, fill it, and then place it back in the machine so you don't spill powder and chocolate everywhere. When you're finished, close it, and close your, your front. This particular XT4 is equipped with a side fridge and cup warmer combination. So how we fill the milk container on this, we open it with the key, we pull the milk container out, and we fill it with a type of milk that we use. In this machine we're using whole milk. Some people like 2%, but we fill it with the same milk that we calibrated for, place the cooler back, and lock the door. Now periodically the machine's going to ask you to empty the grinds bin. It's very simple. If this is in the way, you push this up out of the way. You open your door, you pull the grinds bin out. It's good practice to wash the grinds bin when you have it out and clean it and dry it. It's also good practice to take your microfiber cloth and clean out inside the grinds bin housing because it can get dirty after time. After you place your ground housing back in and close it, it's going to want to verify if you've emptied it. It's very important. If you ever pull that grind spin out and you do empty it, you tell it yes. If for some reason you have to pull it out and you don't empty it, you make sure you tell it no. Now the XT4 makes selecting your drink very easy. It's got the one step functionality, which means you only have to press a button. So this machine set up with single double espresso, Americano, and some milk drinks, cappuccino, latte, your typical. If I prefer to have, let's say, decaf, well, there's decaf options also. We can program it however. In this instance, we're going to go back to regular. And because it's a one step, because it's pre-programmed, everything is going to be consistent every single time. All you have to do is literally press a button and your drink will complete. The XT4 has a menu that the user is able to access. And I'll show you what's in there. Same way you go into on and off, you press and hold this button here until your other menu comes up. So we have some options here. We could turn off the machine. We could rinse the instant mixer, which is the chocolate mixer. Maybe you want to rinse that periodically through the day. If you haven't used the machine in a couple hours, maybe you want to preheat the brewing system. You could press this and it'll go through a preheat process. You have your cleaning options, which we'll go over later. Hopper fill levels. So if I fill the hoppers, I press this button. Bean hopper 1 is the front, bean hopper 2 is the back, and milk is refilled. Now I haven't refilled them, 
but if I was to refill them, I would tell the machine they're full, and I would refill the milk and tell it it's full. Instant hopper, if I have chocolate in here, I also tell the machine all containers are full. We also have a switch off milk system, in case I don't feel like using milk. I can switch off the milk system, it's going to make me run through a cleaning program. Or I could switch off the instant system, so I don't have to use this. That way the only options available will be coffee. But we're going to leave those two alone right now. So you got to turn off, rinse mixer, preheat brewing system, cleaning, hopper fill levels, switch off the milk and or the instant system. That's it. Go back. The XT4 model is going to require a twice a day cleaning. As you can see I have two cleaning tablets here, one for the brewer, one for the milk system, and I have a 500 ml measuring cup here. So how we prep for the cleaning, what we do is we drop a milk tablet, which is this one, in here and we hit the hot water and we'll run it a few times until we get the 500 ml of hot water. The other brewing, brewer cleaning tablet we sit on the side until the machine asks for it and we'll go through that program in just a minute. As you can see I filled our measuring device up to 500 ml and the tablet is now dissolved. It's a good time to empty a grounds container like we practiced before. Take a couple minutes, clean out the grounds container, wipe out the inside, place your grounds container and verify that we did in fact empty it. If your machine is equipped with a powdered chocolate hopper, it's a good time to clean it. So we open it up like we've done before. We pull off this rubber dispense tube. On the bottom of the mixing bowl, there's a little tab. If you push it to the right, it unlocks. Then you can pull your mixing bowl out, straight this way, rinse it, clean it, put it back in, lock the tab, and then connect your dispense tube, okay? You can wipe all this down with a microfiber cloth. While you have it out, you can refill your chocolate. Place this back, shut this. It's gonna ask you to rinse the, rinse the instant mixer. You say yes. It's gonna run through a rinsing process. Even though you washed it out, it's still gonna rinse the dispense tube on the inside that you don't see. Now that we've dissolved our tablet, we've emptied our grounds container, we've rinsed and cleaned our mixing unit, we can go into the cleaning program. The machine's gonna ask for it twice a day, depending on the time you program it. But here's how you go into it. You press and hold this button, and then we can go into cleaning. If it's the end of the day and you want to switch the machine off, you can choose clean and switch off. If it's the middle of the day, you can just do intermediate cleaning. It's going to ask you, is your milk system prepared? What does that mean? That means you take your dissolved tablet, and I'll show you what to do with that next. Here's what we do with our dissolved tablet. We go into the refrigerator, we pull out the milk tube, and place it. You hear a machine beeping, prompting us to go through with the cleaning program. So let's go back to the machine. So now we have our milk cleaner in place. Milk cleaner prepared. The machine's going to walk us through everything. After we run the milk cleaning, it's going to ask to rinse it. And then it's going to ask for the cleaning tablet. It's very important not to put the cleaning tablet for the brewer in until it asks for it. So let's follow the prompts. So this is the next step in a cleaning program. After it runs a cleaning tablet through, you can see it's asking us for fresh water. So we're just going to fill that pitcher, rinse it out, fill it up with water up to 500 ml, and then press OK. I've already done that, so I'm going to press OK. Now you can see it says pre-rinse brewing system, which means it's finished with the milk system. It's going into a brewer pre-rinse, and when it's ready, it's going to ask for the tablet. We'll cut to that.
the picture you see here is basically showing where the tablet goes. So this is bean hopper one, bean hopper two. In the middle there's a hatch that you drop the tablet in. And it's important to wait for this. Because if you drop it in before it asks for it, the brewer won't be in position and this tablet will be worthless. You want to make sure that the tablet is in when it's ready to accept the tablet. So here's where the tablet goes. A little hatch located between hopper one and two. You fold the hatch back, drop your tablet, close the hatch and press OK. And when it's finished with this part, your cleaning cycle is done. It'll go through its startup process and you'll be ready to go. It's also good practice to pull these grills out and wipe these down and scrub them down. Wipe inside of here, wipe the face down, make sure this here is all clean. Uh, just take care of your machine like you would anything else. It's important. It's an investment. You're going to have it a long time. Make sure you wipe it down and clean it. I wouldn't put anything in a dishwasher. You can pull the hoppers and clean them if you want. They have a three-quarter turn. So if you turn these three quarters, it closes the hopper. You can then lift your hopper out and when you place it back three quarters and it opens it up again. Uh, I wouldn't put anything in a dishwasher. Just clean it all by hand, dry it out really good, put it back in the machine, keep it looking nice. While this thing finishes its brewing, brewer cleaning, I put the, um, the milk tube back in the milk. I've closed the cooler so I don't lose too much temperature. And again, these are your two cleaning tablets. You have one here for brewing system and one for milk system. And that's it.